Yeah. Is Theresa May the greatest political nitwit, to be polite, stumbling around an, a, 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 one of the most important uh, issues of a generation? Or is she a resilient uh, politician who's been handed the most poison of chalices? It's a bit of both again. Uh, start with the following. I mean, she had a snap election, which she Didn't promised not, not to do. Yep. She promised she wouldn't do it. Yep. She handed herself into the uh, grip of the DUP. She handed herself into the grip of our hardline yeah. ERG people. Yeah. She created that mess single-handed. In order to try and retrieve the situation, she starts announcing red lines. But the red lines don't work, and the, and the, the people of England um, just can't uh, agree to, to follow them at the moment. And she is within now, whatever it is, 10 days of bringing them uh, on a crash-out basis out of the European Union. Yes. And although the consequences for this country are very, very serious. Yes. The consequences for the UK can be catastrophic too. Yes. And I mean, we're, the, today's papers are saying, you know, that there'll be a parity between the uh, euro and sterling if this happens. That's going to hugely affect mushroom growers in Monaghan sure. trying to sell into England. Yeah. So we have a real problem on our hands and I hope that our politicians, that uh, all of the European politicians and that all the MPs in in London uh, are really tuned in to the dangers that they are dealing with. Somebody said, you know, Westminster used to be called the uh, Mother, Mother of, Parliament. That's right. And uh, it's Mother of Jesus as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> There's a bit of that and it's leaking. Yeah, exactly. Physically and metaphorically.